What's up everyone, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Crash Bandicoot 2. So, it's been about four days since I played this, so I'm not 100% sure what I did. But uh, I believe I played Road to Ruin, got the crystal. Um, played Unbearable, got the crystal and the box gem. And now we're ready to do our fourth boss. And Crash, Crash is ready. He's giving me the thumbs up, we're good. We're ready to face a new boss, Tiny Tiger. A not-so-tiny tiger who, of course, is stupid, because, uh, you know, cartoon laws pretty much say that if someone's big and, like, muscular, they're stupid. They're not really just cartoon laws, it's just laws in general. Like, you don't see, like, a, a scholar with, like, a, you know, who's, who's like, really buff. Oh, I should have jumped. Probably should have tricked him into jumping to that one. Yeah, so obviously the, the goal is to get him to fall. But uh, sometimes this, this level, this area doesn't cooperate. Oh shoot. Oh, I'm lucky I got that. Really, I just jump in random spots, as you can see. Oh shoot. There you go. Take that, son. I like how the platforms move according to where my position is. Changes the center of uh, center of mass. Gravity, whatever. And this is kind of a tough boss battle. Oh shoot. Aw, oh, I ran right into his giant red tennis shoe. Speaking of red tennis shoes, I think... Yeah, Crash has red shoes too, although I don't think they're tennis shoes. They look like... Velcro shoes. Hey, you can't jump into air. I don't know if you knew that. <laughs> but he's all good. He's Tiny Tiger. I'm gonna have to jump this way, aren't I? Whoop! The D-pad's gonna cooperate with me. Oh my gosh. Crash, crash, crash. You gotta... You gotta focus, yo. Can't jump into his feet. His feet are very deadly, you know, those size 13s or whatever. Yeah, so this boss battle obviously can be either like really short or take forever. Just because it's it's all random, like the platform's falling. That'd be crazy if you could jump through two. I should have jumped the middle. Darn. Now this is just turning into like a giant circle. You want to jump, like, right before he jumps. What the heck? Did I jump towards him? This stupid D-pad. You're dead. Look, there's, like, a ceiling. I can't jump higher. Do diagonals. One more hit, buddy. Or one more fall. Don't really hit. That more is kind of a hit, I guess, if you fall and hit the the platform. Oh yeah. That wasn't too bad. Kind of a slow start. <laughs> and he slides off. You no, know, Crash's dance reminds me of Johnny Bravo. If you ever seen Johnny Bravo, the old the cartoon from the '90s, he would do like he would like flex, not flex, but he would like do like a, he would move his arms in like kind of a flexing motion. So he flexed pretty much. Uh, he would make like these noises, these funny noises, and that's what Crash would do when he thrusts. So yeah, so we're at the fourth uh, warp room. Uh, obviously, it's a heat-themed level <laughs> area, warp room, whatever. We're gonna go ahead and do uh, hanging out. Uh, try and get the, try and get whatever we can. Uh, at this point, I don't really know how to get it 100%. I'm gonna have to look these up somehow. Surprisingly, this is a sewer level, though. I wasn't 100% expecting that. I think this is where the, uh, yeah, scrubbing bubbles guys they rush you. Oh, pfft. my fault. That was my fault. 
but never spin a uh, very toxic barrel. Barrel filled with something of a high acidity. Oh, what the heck, Mr. S Scrubbing Bubbles? What the heck? Not cool. Crash is down to 60 lives. What are we going to do? Oh, we're going to make this guy scream. It makes it seem like it's a violent death being spun by a bandicoot. A marsupio, I believe. Don't quote me on that. Get these boxes first. I don't think there's anything this way. No. More monkey bars. And these guys. Do 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 This music man. This is the best music in the game right here, this level. Hey, I needed a mask, that's good. Too bad it doesn't have like a life in it. A life, I mean. That'd be cool. Checkpoint! More monkey bars. I'm pretty sure, if I rem remember correctly, this level was pretty much all just monkey bars and heat. Yeah, it goes well with the theming of the warp room, which is heat of some sort. I have to wait for this guy. Get this box. Down here. Oh, I remember this part. There's something back here. Uh, yeah, there's something back here. Let's go. I think this actually takes us to the uh, secret warp room. I'm pretty sure it does. This is actually where we get to uh, use the monkey bar crouch. Finally comes in handy. Where these like floating camera dudes with spikes. You know, they're just slightly, just low enough where you can anti-crouch, I don't know what that is called. Looks like that guy's going faster and faster and faster and faster. He's gonna go back in time. That's how fast he's going. Oh, yeah, I guess that was a secret area. <sighs> so yeah, we got the crystal. I think that counts towards the crystal. That's, I have 68 lives now? I had, thought I had 61 like a second ago. Oh, I just picked up like 5, duh. So we're gonna do this uh, level 27, which is the last bonus level, I think. We'll come. We'll go back and get the box gem for that uh, at a later, at a later later occasion. Oh, I think actually, when I say this is like the hardest level in the game, since it's the last one, I have that very funny feeling. That. Let's see if I can. There we go. I don't know why I did that. That probably wasn't necessary at all, since I only have a limited time. Well, that was close. Whoop. Take it easy, Crash. All you really need to do, as long as there's no boxes here. I think there is there is one part, though, where there's like... Oh, what the heck? I can't move! Where there's like, uh... What are they called? They're like the iron, the reinforced boxes. I'm pretty sure it's this level. Get this, go down here. No. For some reason, I thought there was a box to my left. Because I did a trial run of this and I missed the boxes on this. M missed the boxes on this level by like one. I'm not sure how. I know I need 16 for this. It was right here when I missed a box, and I'm not 100% sure where. Could be anywhere. Yeah, I got 16. There we go. I don't know what it was last time. 
It's just you have those weird moments where you just miss box for some reason. It does happen. Get that guy. Alright, here's the part right here. There's like a few boxes that I need to get. Um, I don't know. There's one. Two. No. No, that's too far. If you hit, if you hit the Wampa, you're, you're too far. Because there's like... There are holes in the ground. There's one. Here's one more. No. That was a, I guess a mushroom. Whatever. I'll find the other one when I when I take the this guy. Oh shoot. Yeah, that would be really evil if you had to do that, like get the boxes while you had this thing. That'd be terrible. Hooray! We got the silver box gem. And I can't seem to spin slide. <sighs> Alright. Let's see, where did that take us? Okay, it took us back here. So I don't think we have time to do hanging out. But, uh, next time we will. We'll get the box gem for hanging out, and we'll probably do the next level after that. So yeah, that's it for this episode. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you next time.